This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at photovoltaic cells. Photovoltaic cells convert light energy from the sun into electrical energy. They are made of semiconductor materials such as silicon. The silicon is doped with group 15 or group 13 elements creating P-type or N-type semiconductors. As we saw in a previous video, N-type doping results in an excess of electrons and P-type doping results in an excess of holes. Next, we look at the operation of a photovoltaic cell. Here we have a diagram of a photovoltaic cell in which we have an N-type semiconductor and a P-type semiconductor. The two types of semiconductor are brought close together, forming a P-N junction. In the N-type semiconductor, there's an excess of electrons. In the P-type semiconductor, there's an excess of holes. Electrons diffuse across the PN junction from the N-type material to the P-type material, creating positive charges in the N-type material. So here we can see an electron diffusing across the PN junction, forming a positive charge in the N-type semiconductor. Holes also diffuse across the PN junction, creating negative charges in the P-type material. So here we can see a hole diffusing across the PN junction creating a negative charge in the P-type semiconductor. The area near the P-N junction is called the depletion zone, where there are no charge carriers present. The separated positive and negative charges create an electric field across the depletion zone. When light is absorbed by the semiconductor, extra free electrons and holes are created. The electric field makes the electrons flow to the N-type material and the holes flow to the P-type material. The arrow on the left shows the electrons flowing from the P-type to the N-type semiconductor. And the arrow on the right shows the holes flowing from the N-type semiconductor to the P-type semiconductor. The separation of charge creates a potential difference across the P-N junction. Electrons flow through an external wire to the P-type material to unite with the holes, producing an electric current. So here we can see the electrons flowing from the N-type semiconductor to the P-type semiconductor. This process continues for as long as the cell is exposed to sunlight. 